EU citizens demand more options in the transition to climate-neutral mobility. What if banana peels, plastic waste and CO2 sucked from the air could be part of the solution? Together with electrification and hydrogen. Low-carbon liquid fuels, also known as refuels, are produced from waste, sustainable biomass, renewables and captured CO2, which can be used by all in every transport mode. These sustainable liquid fuels from non-petroleum origin emit no or very limited additional CO2 during their production and use. Thanks to their unrivaled energy density, low-carbon liquid fuels are essential in aviation, maritime, heavy duty and a share of light duty transport. In these sectors, either alternatives will take longer to be deployed or specific vehicle uses and social considerations make it more difficult to shift to a different engine technology. Low-carbon liquid fuels have the advantage of being compatible with existing and new vehicles and distribution facilities. You can keep driving your car, make it climate neutral and feel good about it. These sustainably produced fuels are climate neutral because the CO2 they emit in the atmosphere is circular. It is the same CO2 that was absorbed by plants or captured directly from the air or other emission sources. Using these fuels will smooth the deployment cost of electric energy distribution and reduce time pressure of achieving complete fleet turnover. First blended with conventional fuels, they will progressively replace fossil-based fuels, providing consumers with accessible and affordable clean mobility choices, especially when compared to alternative technologies. Low-carbon liquid fuels are already on the market, but they have yet to be deployed in multiple plants across Europe to deliver these fuels at scale. Only then can low-carbon liquid fuels achieve the dual purpose of contributing to enabling European maritime, air and road transport to become climate neutral by 2050 and consolidating Europe's industrial leadership and jobs in innovative decarbonisation technologies.